What is good? It's your boy, Steven Selly, your energy source. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the channel. We're everywhere. I'm everywhere. If you're new, this is what we do. We love dunking. We love life. We love enjoying. I like to make content. I love entertaining. I have so many different dreams I want to achieve, which is actually what I get into in today's episode. But if you're new here, hit all those buttons that make me do good. <laughs> I appreciate it. And if, if you into that content, I really enjoy creating content that inspires you and entertains. I'm trying to narrow it down to just those two things, but I just love it. Having had a great conversation today is a great example with my man, Anthony Hamilton Jr. We've gone back and forth on Instagram. The second I saw his content, it was electrifying. He's a freak athlete. He's a track and field athlete at Clemson University. I asked him how he got into dunking, how he got into track, all those different things and what he, his big dreams are. And he's very creative as well. And we have similar passions. So I hope you guys really enjoy this conversation. And Anthony, if you're listening, thanks again. Really appreciate it. I'm honored before you blow up too big for me, but you have a super bright future great conversation look forward to having you back on oh, in the future and uh, seeing what else you accomplish and if you guys have any comments for me who you want to see on the podcast i'd love to get an idea and also if you guys can help me out with that that'd be awesome because if you guys blow them up whoever you want to see that'd be so awesome anyway thank you guys for listening who thank you all for listening enjoy hit all those buttons you know what to do i appreciate you if not i don't care i'm still gonna do it i enjoy this have a good one toodaloo enjoy your day go after it don't forget to attack your dreams and why not because life doesn't really matter in the end <laughs> i'm just kidding toodles I, could be. I just gotta work and you know i'm good at that never stop never stop always on attack locked in the path never getting off track whatever i lack add it to my bag and i got plenty more when that came from my price is right i never change bro i don't get it done get it done right and that's What's good, dude? Thanks for jumping on so quick. Do you mind if I just record right from the jump? Figure more organic, the better. This is awesome. What's up, dude? So tell me a little about what's your day like? What's happening today? Tell me what's going on. What's good? <laughs> today, so I'm just recovering from that. Um, I just got up and was cleaning my room and stuff. You know, just little college stuff, doing homework. Dude, that's awesome. Well, great to meet you, dude. Hopefully one day I get to meet you in person. This thing's kind of, you know, we can't really meet too many people or travel. But uh, thanks again, dude. I've been watching your stuff. Uh, I don't know since when, but ever since I've been like, dude, it's been fun to watch. I love the hype, love the energy. You know that. And uh, so, yeah, tell me a little bit about college, where you're at. What's your status with that? Oh, man. So, yeah, as you know, I know you know, but I'm at Clemson. I run track here. Um, I mean, right now I'm just – Staying with social media, just doing um, videos, just trying to build a platform for afterwards. Um, obviously, college athlete, I'm working on my craft here with that. Probably going to try to proceed with that later on in the future as well. You know, I'm just, I'm living in the moment, bro, you know, just. Seems like it. it. Yeah, just taking it a day at a time, just meeting people and making connections and stuff like that, just to be ready for later. That's awesome, dude. So when you... uh you ran track. Did you always do that, like, ever growing up, like, high school and all that? Oh, bro, I never ran track as a kid. What? Yeah, so it's funny. I always – I mean, not really that many people know this, but – so I played basketball my whole life. Obviously, you can tell I love basketball. I played at Division three school um, my first year out of high school, and then I um, just walked on the track team. They've been – it was, like, asking me, like, we need you mm-hmm. to run track. We need you to run track because obviously I can jump. So I was like, I ain't never jumped before. I'm not going to <laughs> college sports like that. You know, I, I don't want to get just like demolished. Out. So they saw you playing basketball and just said, we need you to jump. Exactly. <laughs> so they said that and said that they wanted me to come out and jump. And I went out and then ended up breaking the school record within the first few minutes. So <laughs> come on. Yeah, I was just like, okay, I, I could get pretty good. I could jump a little bit. Yeah, just, you know, just a little bit. You know, I, I could learn a little bit and then um, yeah. just proceeded to transfer here. And then now I've just been going crazy with it. That's awesome, dude. Um, so you didn't jump at all in high school, nothing like that. Just started track in college. Yes, sir. Wow, dude. And then, so then when you were playing basketball, did you always try to push the limits dunking or it was just part of the game? And then now dunking is a little bit more of a priority or not really yeah so as you know like there's so many kids and i was that kid before that like is just amazed by dunks for right. reason um when i went of course to the first nba game i just wanted to go to see dunks that's all i wanted to see like i was just you know i couldn't dunk so i was like i want to see a dunk i want to see a dunk so i mean i was just always like 
mesmerized by dunking as a as a kid, I guess you could say. And when I seen I had the ability to do that, I was just like, oh, I'm about to take advantage of this. You know? <laughs> then since then I just I fell in love with it, making videos and being creative and stuff, and it just worked to my benefit. Yeah, dude. I, I love your videos and I want to get back to that, but I have to ask, when was your first dunk? I was 14. I was a, Dang. I was a freshman in high school. In eighth grade though. Everybody know me as the kid that could just grab the rim, like because nobody mm-hmm. can grab the rim on Kevin's after. How tall were you at, at that age? I was like, honestly, I was like five nine. Dang. I wasn't, I wasn't that tall, bro. I was like five nine, maybe five eight. But after school every day, they'll be like, "Anthony, go grab the rim real quick." Like, full <laughs> uniform. I'll be like, you know, "Yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah." That. Yeah, that was. How did you catch it off the dribble, off a lob? Uh, oh, my first dunk, I have it on camera. It was off. It was off of a lob, so it was post that. I need to see that. Yeah, so yeah, it was off of a lob, and then I have one that was off the dribble. I did two in the same day. They were so like weak. Was it? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> they count. They count. Was it? Was it hype as hell? Yeah. Was, Everybody go nuts. I mean, uh, or they kind of expected it. I was like, I don't know. It was like probably my tenth try, so I was like, I'm about to do mm-hmm. this today. And I didn't really realize it until that night. I'm like, damn, I got my first dunk today. That's <laughs> lit. And it was, that's wild. Yeah, on the little Android and everything. I thought I was wow. lit. Bro. <laughs> okay, so then fast forward, you're jumping at Clemson. Mm-hmm. And then when was when was your first exposure maybe into the sort of like the dunk social media where it was kind of like its own thing? Did you have like a moment where you saw somebody or someone's platform, something like that? I feel like because I'm like I'm not the type of person that like I don't scroll on social media that much. I don't like. I don't look around that much. I don't even watch TV. I don't play video games. I don't do none of yeah. that stuff. So I was just making videos. And there was one particular video. I was in LA Fitness where I had my first throw in. And mm. um, that, I think, went on overtime. I think that's the only page that posted that that time. Wow. And after, so you were just posting yourself, not really thinking too much of it. Yeah, I wasn't. I was just posting because I thought it was cool. So it was, oh, I was wow. my first post and overtime posted it and it went viral. And that's when everything started. I'm like, okay, I could probably, you know, I, I'm standing out. Of the there you go. Yeah. And then, and then is that when you learned how to dislocate the shoulders oh my back? Goodness, like this? Bro, after, bro, <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. That just <laughs> happened. That's inherited, I think. Bro, that's it's gotta be. Ask your mother or something. Yeah, exactly, bro. I think it was two years ago. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. The first time I really realized, like, okay, yeah, I can, I can do this. Like, if you got the that, extension. Yeah, exactly. And I just, that's like high jump. Up in the, the way those slow mos go, it's like, it's going back, going back. I don't think you're going to get injured exactly. with your shoulders. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But those, yeah, those hype me up. Those, there's nothing better than like catching it like that. And then you bang it. That's, you got to bang it. You can't, like you said, it can't be weak. Exactly. Those are nasty. Yes, so now sir. you got your platform going. And I, I love on your YouTube and all the different things. So tell me a little bit more like what your, you have any goals for that? Or I see, because some people create because they see it as a lucrative, but you, when I watch your videos, I'm like, there's a lot of energy. I know a lot about energy, and I could see that you like the creative. So tell me about what you love in the creating side of things. Well, with YouTube, um, to answer your first question, I started that during quarantine because everybody was mm. telling me to, like, and i just been lazy about it. Yeah. <laughs> when I first started, I just used my camera. I used my phone, my iPhone. I just used right. my phone. That's what I was filming off of, editing off my laptop and stuff. And the goal with that was just to uh, just build – um, just to let people know that I'm here to help, um, to grow and, and to prepare stuff that I want to do for the future as far as training, exercise, um, sports, stuff like that. You know, just to have fun with it. Like, I, right. I, I feel like I have a personality that can be televised, you know? Yeah. People need to see that, you know? Yeah. So I started with that, and then um, quarantine was the best time to start it. Um, it started doing really well. I only had 100 subscribers before, before I posted my first real video. Mm-hmm. It just shot up after that. So What's it at now? It's at um thirty seven. Dang, yeah. dude, that's awesome. Yeah, bro. So in, in like five months, that's a big. That's big. Bro. That's really yeah. YouTube's tough, man. Yeah. It's so it's a lot. It's yeah. It's it's tough to gain uh, subscribers on there, but yeah, um, it's just staying consistent. I feel like it's the hardest part. Always, yeah. That's what I like about this. That's why I wanted to jump on this call with you soon, to, uh, because it's, 
I want to make videos that's uh, tough with the quarantine. It's also tough with rehab mode, like trying to, I'm not really dunking right now. So I've done a lot of tutorials, but I want to like bring more content that's consistent. That's new, you know? So I feel like these are kind of like kills two birds with one stone, new content, meet new people too. It gives me an excuse to talk to you. Exactly. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's awesome. and I, yeah. It's awesome. And I always, I wanted to meet you in person, bro. I love you. Yeah. yeah I feel like we could do Thanks brother. Videos and stuff. It's love, bro. With yeah for sure um guy. dude so what was it like when you were hanging with t.o i saw that oh, recently bro, that was he's funny as hell bro like he's like <laughs> it's like being around one of like my brothers out here like he's he has energy like you could tell he's an athlete you know how you could tell the difference between somebody that's yeah athlete and somebody that just you know just around i guess you can say right <laughs> he's, he's like he has good energy he's super humble he yeah felt like that's I'm building a, a closer relationship with him, and he's just like been dropping jewels on me, giving me keys to like, if you if you want to do this, you got to go this way about it. If you want to do this, you got to go that way about it. Type of thing. But he's cool. Wow, dude, it looked really awesome. Yeah, like anybody that's throwing you lobs like that, spending some time, you just know that there's some something special about them. That's really fun. Exactly. Dude, so like for some people that are creating content, they're athletes. Obviously, you're an amazing athlete, but but you also grow your social media like really well. Like somehow utilize or optimize what you do. You have any tips or quick tips for people that are starting their own channel, starting like that? Because you came on my scene pretty quick, and I haven't. I see a lot of people, but you combined your athleticism and your creativity really well. Any tips that you help you think helped you the most? I feel like with all social media, not even just YouTube, it's just like everybody has their own. Uh, image of something like they you have your own picture of what you want to do you have your own creativity and I feel like first things first you just have to figure out how you can show that to people mm -hmm. once you do that and you stay consistent with that I feel like your your I wouldn't say fan base I'll just say like supporters base because I don't like saying fans you know yeah it's weird <laughs> it's weird to me. like your supporters base will start to grow and people that are on the same journey as you or that wants to do the same things as you probably, you know, they'll follow you and then you'll continue to just build and it'll just go up from there. Like there's no going down from that. And it's doing what you I love that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So do you have a favorite platform right now that's out there out of YouTube or TikTok or Instagram? I love TikTok, bro. And it's so, me too. <laughs> me like, too. So toxic, bro. But I love, yeah. I love TikTok, bro. And it's like, I, yeah, it's, it's just, I feel like it's a lot of rated R content on there. There's a lot, yeah. And, and, and I love it, though. But I say TikTok is first, Instagram second, Twitter third, and then yeah. and all the personal stuff. I mean, that's, you know, how that is. Yeah. You have any pro dunker goals or basketball goals, like trying to play somewhere for real, like a pro league or anything like that, or a pro dunking type thing? Any goals like that? I mean, really, bro, I just want to be like a, I want to be in like entertainment. So, mm, yo, me too, actually. That's what I've noticed about TikTok. I love, keep going though. Exactly. So, it's like just just having cameras around and being myself and showing people that like I jump high because I'm more of a jumper than a dunker in a way. Yeah. Like I can pull out some dunks out of my bag, but I'm not like Chris Staples. Like, I had a I had a funny joke one time. It's like, I, I don't want to see like three behind the backs and like rattle yeah. in. I'd rather just see someone who fucking yeah, smash man. it. But like, like, they're doing it around the neck, around the tooth, whatever the fuck, <laughs> and they fucking barely get it in. Exactly, bro. <laughs> it's like, that's not me. I like the I like the power. And I like that, like you said, just get high as hell and yeah, man. It's, it's just an art to dunking. So, I mean, my mm -hmm. goal is just like obviously doing like commercials, TV shows, um, TV series, YouTube, just stuff like that, like fun stuff, you know? I, I agree, man. I'm in the same boat. I love that. So that's kind of like what I try to map out my life is make these platforms lucrative, but then find a where I could just do what I like to do, like entertain wise. I got, that's why I love doing this podcast. That's why I wanted you to have on. Cause I knew you'd have, uh, similar things. That's what I could tell is like the creative energy, the fun. You just want to have fun. It's like, throw the cameras on. Let's just have fun. Maybe we'll do something together. Me and you eventually. That'd oh, yeah. be freaking amazing. You're in Florida. That'd be so great, dude. You're in Florida. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you're like you're like seven hours away. Then that's that's an easy flight. Are you all the way up north? Yeah, I'm I'm in Clemson, South Carolina. I'm on the board. I'm two hours. Oh, I'm thinking. I don't even know where Clemson is. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> so I'm learning. Yet, but I'm um I'm two hours away from Atlanta. Two hours away. Yeah. From it. Like I'm right. 
the middle. I can go anywhere. Yeah, dude. I would, before we got on this call, I was actually looking up reaction videos. I was thinking about making one today, and we talked about that earlier. I was like, I maybe I saw you doing that. It looks so much fun. I'm like, man, I'd love to be there, like reacting to things. I think that's where it's at for us. Is like. <laughs> Because like there's so much content, it's like exactly. ah, it's just it's so much fun to do. You know, that's what I when I watch a video, I want to share it with friends, and I have crazy reactions not because I'm trying, just because it's like I get filled with energy, and, and I think that's great to watch. Yeah, God, to be so much fun. I've been trying to stay on the wave of like adding more stuff. Like I don't want to just do workouts on my YouTube. I don't, yeah, that's why I've been doing the interviews. I'm trying to do uh, reaction videos. Like I'm trying to do day in the life stuff. You know, just trying to yeah. Stand so it's not like it's a tough balance because it's like you have to do what the algorithm likes meaning like what your subscribers already like whether it's the workouts or the jumping or the athletics but then you want to do what you like so that way you have a good base of like people that like everything it's tough exactly, it's tough exactly That's yeah the thing we're just trying to build and um add supporters to that base so that i can grow as a as an influence by the dude we gotta think of something to do together maybe it's like we do this once a week i don't know that's a lot once a week to commit but in the future react to something because on zoom you could do like screen recording i talked about that with one of my friends i think it might have been billy actually we we go on zoom we watch like some dunks of the week and we all have i don't know it'd be something fun there's some way to do it together that would be dope yeah and i yeah. There's so there's so many uh kids out there that like want people who, like us to react to their stuff whether it's good it's bad it's like yeah. analysis like stuff like that exactly like that stuff it's cool I love that. And I was watching this, just a comedy podcast last night and I was cracking up and it's just, I wish something like you want to watch it with friends. Yeah. Like it's so, it sucks to watch it alone. So it's like reacting is kind of like you're kind of watching it with somebody. And that's what I get when I watch other people react to things. I feel like I'm with them. Exactly. So it's a weird, it's an interesting thing. Exactly. Dude, who's the highest jumper? I'm cutting right to that. Ooh. <laughs> I get it's going to be Ivy Court. Cortland. Up there? He, Cortland's the highest jumper on the planet right now. Okay. All right. All right. That's my boy, though. <laughs> <That's> my boy. <laughs> no, I got to have him on, too. Yeah, We've yeah. talked about it. He's got his podcast. I've listened to a couple of it. But I'm going to have him on as well. That's another guy I'd love to meet. Have fun. He always has these stories that crack me up. Yeah, it's like this little thing. <laughs> he cracks me up. So, yeah, he's, we, we go back and forth on Instagram as well. It's so much fun, dude. Um, but what was I going to say? Do you have any vert goals of, like, what you want to hit or your head to hit? Anything like that? Um, I feel like one goal that I want to reach um, jump-wise is probably top of the backboard. Dang. That's, that's one thing I feel like. I feel like. Do you know what that would equal? Yeah. That's that would, like, uh, that's 13 feet. Feet? 13 feet. I feel like that's, I don't know. It's something. What's your, and what's your reach? My reach is 7'11". Okay. So. 7'11", 84, right? <laughs> 95, 13 feet. I can't do that on my head. Yeah, that's that's a lot, bro. But I feel like that's a lot. We'll just go with that. Yeah. How many inches you got? Yeah, a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to work on that. But I just turned 21. Usually, like you're Jesus. I feel old as I'm 27. 27. Yeah. 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 Good lord, I'm thinking, bro. I'm one of the youngest out here doing this stuff, man. So I, I feel like when I'm in my prime. From the eighth <laughs> in ten years from now, yeah, like it? when I'm in my prime, bro. Ten years from now, it's gonna be ridiculous, bro. I know. Imagine it'd be like Young Myrie, you know, remix. Oh man, he's like 35, Great. getting bigger and stronger, yeah, he's, <laughs> jumping high. Yeah. He's he's Benjamin Button of the Dunk World, exactly. I think. Exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, dude, what do you got re- plan for the rest of the weekend? Um, what do I have planned for the rest of the weekend? I feel like I'm just gonna catch up on my school work. I'm gonna train a little bit. I'm about to shoot a, a YouTube video with my teammate again. Um, just, you know, just doing some like maintenance stuff, you know, getting nice. to get the next. What are you going to school for? I'm a sociology major. I started off health science, oh, wow. but I wanted to move into something that would like correspond with my schedule. Cause with yeah. back, it's like, we're training every single day health science you have to do internships you have to go here here and here so i was just like i'll just do sociology and how similar is track training to just jump training or basketball um it's basketball this is this is one because i i train for both so i mean obviously train for both but basketball is more focused on like your agility and mm-hmm. like muscle memory type of thing um I feel like track is like everything. It's sprinting, jumping, um, just leg strength, core. Everything has to be strong for you to be able to perform well with track and field. 
you know, and it's very easy to get exposed out here. And I figured it out. I th- I've seen it with my own eyes. Like if you BS through your work or mm-hmm. BS with your diet, you will get exposed out here because yeah, he's not a joke. Those details, man. That's what I love. I'm not I'm not competing with anybody but myself right now. But it is. It's like those little details give you a little bit of an edge. And when you think about like people competing, I mean, I can't imagine. That's really awesome. I love that though. I always tell people have a goal that, or for you, it's track. It's like the or whatever your sport you're playing at a high level like that. It forces you to have like a healthy lifestyle all around, and it just makes everything better. Exactly. It's awesome. So I got a random question, but who's someone famous, not famous, huge, not huge, whatever that super inspires you or like pushes you every day? That's someone that you think about, like, I would love to have his life, maybe mm-hmm. something like that, whether it's entertainment wise or athletics or a combination. I, that's a tough one. Yeah, so I can. There's two different answers to that. Like yeah, that motivates me is my mom. My mom motivates, motivates me the most. And that's what I'm doing it for. I do it for my mom and my family, just so I can give them a life that they deserve. Ah. You know, just, you know, of course, yeah. take care of them, buy them houses, cars, whatever they want. It's obviously not about materialistic things, but I want them to have stuff like Comfortable. You know? Yeah, let them relax. So that's uh, somebody that motivates me. Um, somebody I look up to, I'd say, uh, that's a tough one, bro. Yeah, that's a tough one. I just have like, I have my own. I'm just tunnel vision with. I know what I want, and I just stay in my own lane. I don't really. Another question, kind of like to to be veer off that one. Instead of someone that sort of motivates you or inspires you, what about someone that like you do feel similar with? Like To, you said felt like you almost like knew him already. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody like that that you haven't met yet that you feel like you guys would just like click right away? Uh, Kevin Hart for sure. Really? That's awesome. Kevin Hart is my one of my favorite Dude. people. Yeah, I I, I want to meet him. I'm yeah, meet him eventually. That's one of my yeah. goals. But I feel like personality wise, we kind of share some similarities. I love that, dude. I love thinking about that because it just gets me excited to live. And it's just like those. There's so many more possibilities than you think. Exactly. If you just if you believe about it, mm-hmm. believe about it, believe in it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. <laughs> all right, dude. Well, I appreciate it. We'll talk soon. I definitely would love to have you back on. And also, hopefully, we'll meet, meet up at some point, make some videos after this quarantine. That'll be so fun. Yes, sir. Hey, bro, I, I appreciate what you're doing. I love this stuff, bro. Keep the energy. Of course, dude. Dude, do you have a podcast yet? Because if you have it planned out, I'll help you out with it. Because the energy you have, the information you have, the, the, the journey you're on, I think it's a great thing to do because it's so easy to set up. Once it's set up, you have people. It gives you access. Like, look, I got you on. I don't know if we would have just talked on the phone maybe in the future. But, like, other people that I – like, I've talked to authors, different things. If you're doing it, it's a really lucrative thing. You're young, you know? Yeah. I'm going awesome. like, to think about it, bro. I might – Think about it. And start that stuff just to add it on to the – Why not? Do everything. That's how I got to where I'm at. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm in, like, this beautiful place doing what I love, a job that I love – creating what i love and it's just like i did all these different things not really knowing and then you pieces show up and that's how i got this entertainment is i just love this piece of it you know talking to people and creating things at the same time it's the best that's dope. well i appreciate Dude. you bro we're gonna tap of course and i'm gonna see you soon we're gonna plan something out but i appreciate you for having me all right ham we'll talk soon brother good to meet you much love brother take it easy yes, sir you too peace oh, that's the anthem right there Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.